welcome to my show. <laughs> Okay, cool. So what do I say? You're not asking me questions. Am I just free reign talking? <laughs> Wait, how did I start? Yeah, I didn't want to do this. He's the one who made me do it. Otherwise, I wouldn't. Welcome to Speak With Domi. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first time here, you're absolutely welcome. Today I'm getting ready for my grad celebration, party, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, that's what's going down. I'm Tem Belong and I. Mona, where are you going? Uh, get a haircut. For what? I'm going to graduation. Okay. Yeah. Like, party is like, <laughs> Guys, only hope, eh? So my name is Pindi Matebula. I'm Gadeko's mom. Like you can see, I'm so excited. This is a great day, a day we've been waiting for. Yeah, no, we cannot wait just to celebrate the goodness of the Lord with Ngadeko and the people that we've invited. Yeah, so we're really excited and we thank God for this great day. It's a great day indeed. The journey has been tough, you know. I think, you know, when I look back in retrospect, I ask myself, couldn't they have given us maybe a manual nyana of parenting so that you may understand the hurdles that we're going to come across, you know, the hiccups. But yeah, you know, Nkateko went to school, primary, smooth sailing, high school, smooth sailing, and then tertiary level, yeah. 
vets happened and it was hectic and she got depressed. She didn't want to listen to me because she felt I was preaching unto her. And I told her, you know, moms, they know best. I told her that this was going to happen. This day was coming and she kept on saying, yeah, you're saying this just because you are my mom. She didn't take what I said, but look at God. Today is a day wherein we are celebrating her first degree. And I believe it's just the first one. You such a tenacious and a strong woman of God. You know, I look at you and I wonder, is this my daughter or is she my sister? You know, sometimes when I talk to you, you know, it's like I'm talking to my peer, I'm talking to a friend, I'm talking to someone who understands life. And I know that the Lord would continue to grow you. I'm not saying you are there yet, but I know the Lord would continue to grow you. Understand, my child, that all these degrees, they are just, you know, uh, channeling you to your purpose. May you continue to serve the, uh, the purposes of God in this your generation and continue to be that girl who loves the people of the Lord, understanding that we show that we love God by loving others and serving them. So I wish you nothing but the best. I love you and may the Lord keep me so that I may just, you know, be there for you, just to support you, just to show you the way because yeah, you know, sometimes and then, and then I realize May the Lord keep me so that I may continue, you know, to channel you and so that you may keep me young. Well, girl, Kateko, congratulations. I know the first two years was very tough when you were trying to find yourself, you know, trying another course. It did not work. But you know what? I saw resilience in you. You never said, that's it. But you had to take another route. Because there's always a way to win, you know? If one door is closed, and then another door will be open. And I'm so glad that you were able to see that there was another door. Many people, they don't see that, and they take a rope and hang themselves. Well done, girl, well done. Remember, this is just the beginning. It is just the beginning. You can graduate and, and have that great certificate and just put it on the wall or you make use of that certificate by impacting the lives of people, making the lives of people better. You know, we get better so that we can better others. Congratulations. As your father, proud of you. I'm so proud of Kateko. I wish her like many more years to come and so proud of her, what she has done. Now that you have graduated, I hope you find a man that has a lot of money and takes care of you. Oh, I. It's been boring in the house. Very boring. Yeah. Kind of, kind of missed her. Yeah. And now she's back. Feels full family now. Congratulations, Nkateko. You've come this far. Uh, well done. We're all with you. And yes, just keep pushing. Yes. My name is Ntaka. And yeah, Nkateko worked very hard for where she is right now. And yeah, she's well deserving for this graduation. And what I expect to see is, yeah, nice food because, yeah, during tough times getting braces and like now I'm ready to eat. So now, yeah, my expectations are really very high. Like it was a long journey, but yeah, she made it and she's well deserving for, for graduating and that she worked hard and yeah, her hard work, uh, her hard work paid off. Girl, you're so excited. I mean, it does make sense. It took five years to get here, so. I mean, the excitement, the build up and everything does make sense. I mean, you couldn't even sleep. Like, who sleeps at 3 a.m. because they're excited? I mean, that is so weird, but like, you're there chilling with me. And some of us still have academic, um, you know, pressure that's there, but like, you're there and I'm like, okay, I'll chill with you. And I mean, it was fun, it's fun, but I mean, I couldn't chill with you till 3 a.m. I mean, that's ghetto, but I mean, you're excited. And finally, the day is here where we get to celebrate you featuring me. I mean, because <laughs> I'm also the girl. So, I mean, excited. Um, they're doing your makeup. Man, it's gonna be a fun night. It's gonna be a fun night. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you 
Denzakonke, descends the Lauting any means on Tangeli Motting. So call us to Sam, the safe awaiting Ioman. Sanam, I love you, Gateco. Keep it on. Hey Nkateko, congratulations on graduating cum laude. I definitely have to add that part because this is a monumental achievement and I'm extremely proud of you and truly thankful to call you my friend and my sister for the past six years. I can honestly say I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for the beacon of light and support you brought into my life when we met straight out of high school here at Fitz. You motivated and pushed me through a very, very tough first year, knocking on my door every day so that we can go to the library to study and only come back at 11 o'clock to cross that dodgy road to Houghton Village every night. I will forever cherish this and forever cherish our Sunday lunches because you know I don't like eating alone. Despite things not going the way you had hoped for, you continue to be my biggest cheerleader. Even now, you continue to motivate me and support me on my journey. It took a lot of bravery to change paths. Not only did you do this with grace and poise, you excelled at it, and I commend you for this. Your resilience, positivity, and faith in God carried you through and will continue to light your path going forward. I wish you all the best on your new chapter in Durban, and I'm so sorry that school stood in the way of me being able to celebrate you today, but we'll definitely make up for it. When we celebrate in God for lunch, Please come with all your tips and tricks of how you did it because I have a few months left and sure wouldn't mind following in your footsteps and bagging this degree, cum laude. I love you so, so much and I just wanted to say congratulations once more. Mwah! Beautiful, chick. Confident, chick. Sassy, chick. Cum laude student, chick, chick, chick. Yay! Congratulations! So happy for you, so proud of you, Nkateko. This is such a wonderful moment that I hope um, you take time to let it sink in. I hope you take time to drink it in because it has taken some blood, sweat, and a lot of tears to be where we are today. And no matter what life throws at you in the future, because life is going to try its best to throw stuff at you because that's just life, right? But when that happens, you will be able to say, you know what, life? I have history with God. I have been through some stuff and everything that you have experienced until now didn't just happen to you, but it happened for you. And it also happened for um, the lives of the people around you that you are going to impact. I'm proud of you and I look forward to the woman that is yet to emerge in you. I look forward to the change that you are yet to be making in the world. Enjoy this time. Bless the Lord. Have fun and be merry. And until next time, speak with me. Let's go. Um, yeah, this day means a lot to me. I'm very excited. It's been five years in the making and it's finally here. So that's going to be absolutely fantastic. Dreamed about this day and at some point thought it wouldn't come. But we're here now and all I have to say is God, thank you. So my expectations for today, I want everybody to be dancing. I want to see, yeah, are, are Christians allowed to twerk? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. But just, I want everybody to have fun. I want everybody just to relax, enjoy the evening. The pastors that are there, please forget about your titles, man. Like, we just want to have fun. And we just want to enjoy today. It's going to come once. I don't know when we're going to do this again. Um, but we haven't done this in a while. The last time probably is 2019. And most of us are called, right? so we're not going to go to Konga. We're not going to go to any of these group places. So I think we need to make most of today. And yeah, let's just have fun, man. That's that. Stay tuned for part two. The Lord was like, you're also going to do first year again. You know? <laughs> because surely not me, each one is learning to be. It didn't work out. And then, I think it's a particular thing. So it's okay. <laughs> <laughs>